So I know that last month I did a um, my videos a little bit differently with your lucky days, you know, your crystal of the month, your chakras to work on. I think that I will still put that information out there for you guys. I don't know if it'll be um, by video or if I will put that out in an email to those of you who subscribe to my list or um, which you can do on my website. It's also where you can sign up to win a free reading every month, so that's cool. Um, or if I'll just put that out by Facebook or something like that. But anyway, um, I kind of wanted to skip over that and just kind of get to like, okay, what's going on for you in February so that I would have time later maybe to also do a love reading for every sign because it is February and Valentine's Day. So let's just get right to um, the basics. I do want to talk about your lucky days and your unlucky days though in this reading. And so Aries, your lucky day is, oh, actually, I don't even want to go there yet. I want to say your unlucky day is the first, the first of February. Um, but when I went to pull about your information on your lucky days, the message is kind of calling you out, okay? What Spirit had to say was every day is 100% lucky this month if you get things right with your faith. So it doesn't have to mean that you're like in a formal religion, okay? Um, but it's about, you know, your spirituality in general. If you experience spirituality through meditation, really having focus on that, making time and space for that. Or, um, you know, if it's through prayer, really thinking about how, what is the way that I'm praying? Am I coming to God a lot, whatever, in, with like an open heart? Or am I doing this, you know, and kind of like humble and admitting my sins and asking for guidance? Or am I just coming here with like a wish list like I would give to Santa Claus? So those are things that you really need to think about. Like, what are your morals? Like, what is the purpose of prayer? Why are you doing it or not doing it? Are you not doing it because um, you're embarrassed because you think you don't deserve good things in your life because you've turned your back on your faith? And your faith could even be law of attraction. You know, it doesn't matter. It's just like, hey, what is it that you're focusing on? And what is it that you're not... Um, really framing correctly here. Why are you avoiding your spirituality in certain ways? And if you figure out how to connect back to that, 100% of the month will be a lucky day for you. There is a lot of benefit for you in that is basically what they're saying. So what's going on for you, Aries, um, in February? And they're saying, okay, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but it does fucking hurt. Um, so you see, this isn't blood. Whoa. <laughs> They're like, this is important. This isn't blood on the ground. You might have been through a lot of stuff, a lot of things that are paining you, causing you anxiety, a lot of things that are becoming really real right now. Whether it's because of something you did or didn't do, doesn't matter. But your pain is real. It is valid. But you're not going to die. You're going to be okay. This is cloth on the ground. It's not blood. Okay, um, and this was just basically bound to happen and it sucks, but it's happening. And so what they're saying is you have to remember that everything is a cycle. Okay, this pain isn't going to last forever. It is going to end. Will it fully come to conclusion in the month of February? Maybe not for all people, but for many of you, it will. Okay. The wheel is always turning. Sometimes things are amazing. We're at the top of our game. Everything's going right. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes we're at the bottom. Okay? And so this is why that concept of connecting to your spirituality is so important because it's telling you you get to the top a lot quicker. You see all this lightning here in the background. Okay? So they're like, yeah, there's storms behind us. But we can leave them there. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger, and we're just going to grow from this. And that's real, okay? Um, they're saying there are a lot of other people involved here in whatever's going on with you this month. Um, what else with this card here? And they're saying, like, certain things might kind of take tangents, you know, might kind of go here and there. You might feel like, okay, this is just something I need to get through, and that you're almost through it, and then all of a sudden, phew, you know, like a foot shoots out of the wheel. And you're like, ah, I was so close, right? Which can be somewhat discouraging. But what they're saying is the only thing constant is change. So if you're feeling super negative right now because there's a lot of shit going on, you know what? 
you can count on the fact that things are going to change. You're not going to be in that energy always. And so this is a good omen. By the end of the month, you might be feeling better, but that really depends on you and the action steps that you take. And so they're saying there's a lot of need here with the Queen of Swords to be super direct and honest, to just, you know, ask for guidance or help in communicating what it is that needs to be communicated because you have that support from the universe, God, angels, the law, whatever. Um, they're saying you have to take a hard look at the future and say, okay, based on the future, you know, what was it that I was doing or communicating in the past and how does that need to change and how do I need to be real with myself and kind of just like establish boundaries and limits and say, okay, this is how it's going to be from here forward and be really firm and direct in that. They're saying this is definitely a month of um, self-reflection, of going deep within and saying, okay, what are, what is most important to me? What are my roots? What is, what are my values? Where do I want to be? How do I want to grow? What does happiness look like? But it does necessitate you kind of looking at the shadow side, looking at this pain, at these hardships that you've, you know, either come into or are starting to come out of and say, okay, based on that, in you know, like the physical reality, because the earth is taking up more than half of the card here, you know, where can I grow from here? What have I learned from this? And how can I turn that into something positive moving forward? And that path is somewhat um, cloudy. You know, if you saw there, um, there's a little bit of confusion, but you can get through this, whatever it is. Okay, what else for Aries in February? Um, yeah, we've got the tower card, <laughs> you know, where it's like, you might have built um, up a plan or a life or a relationship based on a lot of things that you were hearing from other people, you know, through um, the media, through your family, through your friends, you know, through different ideas or structures. Y you built something up here that was going to come down because it wasn't sturdy and solid, because it really wasn't who you are from like a core inner place okay and you know what's interesting if you have Aquarius in your chart because Aquarius's reading is very similar to yours they're saying from an intuitive standpoint you know that all the stuff whatever it is that you're doing that's not working for you however you were living that wasn't working for you and you thought that that was the way to be that shit has to come down it's gonna burn up in flames it's gonna hurt you're gonna get a little burned on your way down but you know what the positive aspect here is that you can create something better and more beautiful in its place. Because this shit was never real. It was, you know, so this could be about your image or your reputation. It might be on flames right now. People might be like, ooh, what the fuck with this person? Um, but whoever that person was that you were like projecting out saying, this is who I am, was not a true representation of yourself. Okay, and so now is the time to rebuild that in a different, more positive way that is more reflective of who you truly are, whether that's in relationships, whether that's at work, no matter where that is applying in your life. Okay, um, what they're saying here with the Four of Cups is you have to be open to receive new uh, blessings. So people might be trying to show you love, and you might be like having too much pride or ego right now and saying, you know what? Um, mm, I got this. I can do it myself. But what they're saying is you're better served if you just actually say, you know what, any help I can get, I want to take it. Advice, you know, they say advice is free for a reason. You know, it's not valuable. <laughs> we don't, we don't value things we don't pay for. Um, in, in this case, it's like, well, you don't have to utilize it, but at least be open to receive it because it might be good. They're saying something is out of balance for you. Okay, typically the eight is the strength card. And they're saying like your strength is going to come from being balanced. There's a lot of sword energies here saying your communication needs to be balanced. Your, um, look, so here's a feather, right? And then this is like, um, what is that? Yeah, it's a stone. So you need to balance your spiritual life as well as your earthly life. Okay, there has to be a balance between those two, which is how we get these circles moving. Because circles are like about change and positivity. Sometimes things are good, sometimes they're bad, right? But everything comes full circle, things come to a close, to an end, and then new things begin. And um, look at this symbol of balance here too, the yin and yang. 
uh, right on top of that crown chakra. And, you know, with all of these little mandalas in the back, these little X's, they kind of look like butterflies, with, which also represent change. And they're saying until the balance between your spiritual life and your practical reality is put back into place, things aren't going to change for you. You're going to continue to be in this five of wands energy where you're just feeling like not only um, – you're just feeling like people aren't on the same page with you, that they're not understanding you, that you're all speaking different languages. It's like you're tr you're putting your fingers through, like you're reaching out, trying to get some assistance, some help, some motivation to, you know, start building something wonderful for yourself, but you can only get your fingers so far. You can't get them all the way through the slats. And it's because you do need other people to help you here. And with that Four of Cups energy, you have to be able to receive help and guidance and wisdom from other people. You have to be able to receive love from them as well. So kind of a tough month for you. I'm sorry. Um, they're saying, but you know what? Here's the thing. You get to decide, do I want to stay in this painful, hopeless energy? Again, very similar to the Aquarius reading. Or, um, you know, do I just want to succumb and say, okay, you know what? Fuck this. I'll never be happy. <laughs> Is that what you want to do? Because that's what many Aries are doing. Um, they're saying this is a choice. This is a decision. The lover's card is about choice. There are friends, there are lovers, there are brothers, there are helpers around to support you in whatever in, in the choice that you make. If you make a choice that is happy for you, if you make a choice to change these things, you know, look at this little fairy here is like watching over things. He's saying, hey, I want to help you with this choice. I really do. And so it seems like um, the interesting thing is, you know what, tarot is usually not gender specific, but in this deck it is. And so there is um, a male figure around to help you out. And whether that is an actual human being, like I said, a brother, a lover, um, a friend, or if, you know, a priest, whatever, or whether this is actually, um, it could be even a therapist, like a male therapist. Um, or this could actually be like a male angel, you know, like uh, Archangel Michael or Raphael or, well, I guess Gabriel is usually busy with other stuff. But point is, it could be Jesus, <laughs> whatever. Um, there are different people around to help you out or entities around to help you out. And you just have to decide that you want the help, that you want the loving embrace, that you want the support. And they're saying intuitively, you know that you can't do this on your own, that you need that help, that guidance, that support. You know this because of that moon energy. You've really got to take this um, for, the, for the peace here, you know, because our water is our emotions. For it to be peaceful and tranquil like this, you really got to open your hands up like this and just say, okay, I'm ready to receive the help, the guidance, the love, the support that I need in this month. And so I'm going to switch decks here and see what else we have going on. Um, they're saying that you're not passionately communicating what is heartfelt to you and what it is that's important to you. And that's a good first step in finding the help that you need. They're also saying... Um, that you're not, you know, you, you're assuming that other people are not going to be honest with their knowledge, that somehow they're deceptive or they just don't fully understand your situation, which is why you're not allowing them to help you in some cases. So with this tortoise energy, they're saying when changes are made for the sake of change itself, that's not the reason to do it. And this is why that aspect of, you know, finding your spirituality and bringing that in is important in your situation. You can't just force a change for the sake of change because then it's not sustainable and you're going to end up back in that ten of swords situation. So um, let's see what else they have here as far as uh, guidance goes. Creativity. Um so they're saying, you know, if you could in, if you could immerse yourself in some sort of a creative process with um, the goal of like doing, creating something for yourself that will make you proud, that would be good. Because when we get in like the flow of something, whether that's through writing, through painting, through singing, and you kind of lose track of like time and stuff like that, that is actually like a spirit energy, like uh, whether you believe in, you know, 
energy from the universe, God, whatever, doesn't matter. That's that energy flowing through you. That's that psychic energy, which actually cleanses you in the process of doing it. So if you kind of get into the creative flow with something, or maybe that's even like a running high, um, and really embrace that, uh, you can inspire yourself, but not only that, people around you. So that would be a good thing. Um, and then last card I'm going to pull here for you. Appreciating everything. So this is a heart chakra energy, which doesn't actually surprise me. And um, like I said, I'll talk more about like what your crystal energies are for the month, um, either in another video, by email, or through Facebook. Uh, but what they're saying is, a good affirmation for you is to say, my life is perfect. Because even though it feels imperfect with that Ten of Swords energy, with all this pain, all this chaos, all this, you know, struggle, you're right where you need to be right now. I am thankful for the blessings that I have in my life right now, including this chaos, because it's showing me what's right for me, where I want to go, what doesn't work for me, you know, who should be in my life, who shouldn't, that kind of thing. Um, so you want to appreciate everything and everyone that was in your life or is in your life right now. And um, do it without any sort of doubt or expectation. You know, like, oh, I appreciate this person because I get this from them. No, I'm just thankful that, you know, like people are around in general. Or I'm thankful for the lesson that I learned and I am certain that it's going to help me in my future. You know, either to not make the same mistakes or to create that change. And so, anyway, you want to learn that... Um, the way to best set change in motion for you is to look at the blessings of these all and really feel those in your heart and be super grateful, even for the most difficult parts of your life, because it does seem like February for a lot of you is going to be um, a challenge. And if you're in Aries and you're watching this and you're like, doesn't resonate for me, I would watch my moon sign. Um, but oftentimes, you know, this is kind of interesting that... For certain zodiac signs, what happens is there might be a handful of people. Maybe there's, you know, 2,000 of you who are going to watch this video and maybe only 500 of you this is going to resonate for. And the reason why that happens in general readings is like sometimes the most dramatic, like toughest stuff really needs to be heard by that handful of people. And so your reading can get hijacked. But I think for the majority of you, though, this will resonate in one way or another. It might not be as dramatic for some people. It might not be like a total, you know, like midlife crisis collapse. <laughs> it might be just like one relationship or something like that. But anyway, um, if it didn't resonate for you, which I assume it will for most of you, uh, watch your moon sign. Because your moon sign is also oftentimes more reflective of what's going to be going on for you since we make so many of our decisions based on our emotions and your moon sign correlates to your emotions. So um, like I said, I'll be putting out more information for you with your crystal of the month, with chakras to work on, all of that. Hopefully love readings for February as well. But in the meantime, um, really try to cr connect to your um, higher power, whatever that is to you, even if it's just your higher self. And remember that all changes happen for a reason. Nothing bad happens to you. Things feel bad that happen to you, but it's ultimately for a certain purpose that will yield something good down the road. Okay? Love and light, and talk to you soon. and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!